What is good, everybody? You already know what it is. It's your boy. And we gonna have to get right into this one. You already seen the thumbnail. You probably read the description or reading it while you're watching it. You already see what it is, man. We got Liz back in here. Hey, they they've been they've been popping on the scene with a reckless abandon. Some good, some bad, and shockingly, a lot of it's good. You know what I'm saying? We got a lot of their latest drops here. You know, we got a couple of ones that were sent over from Liz themselves. You've seen the blue boxes. I'm pretty sure you know what the blue boxes mean. You've seen them on social media. You've seen a lot of people in the hack community popping their surprises open. Here's my chance to do the same. I got three blue boxes here straight from Liz. It's going to be my pleasure to bust them open and see what they then gifted your boy. Plus, as you see, we got the bag, so that means we got an in-store pickup. Then we got a brown box, which means that's going to let you know that's a personal pickup from online. So, yeah, we got a lot of things to drop into. We got a lot of them to talk about. We got a lot to get into and, 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 and dissect and discuss. Like I said, all the recent releases from them, except the things that's released in probably the last two days, which those are in transit. So, of course, we can't get into those yet. But, yeah, they've been dropping like crazy, man, left and right. Uh, seems like every other day, if not almost every day, they just been dropping. So they really trying to cement, you know, and hit the ground running with a lot of their drops. And we finna get into some of those latest ones here, like I said. So go ahead, strap in, man. We got about six, seven, maybe eight here to get into. And that's exactly what we gonna do. So stay tuned, lock in with your boy. We're gonna pop these open after this good intro. So yeah, <laughs> let's get into it. Uh, yeah. Let's go. Like I said, man, we're going to hop right into these. Make sure I got my good cutting utensil to get into these things. But first off, since it's the easiest to do, we're going to get into the in-store pickups. Just a couple of quick joints, you know. Nowadays, you have to stop in there, you know, if you miss something online. Maybe they have something in store. But at least the store that's by me. They a lot slower at getting stuff in. Like usually it'll take like two weeks when everything hits online. I'm hearing about people seeing stuff in their store. The store over here by my house, man, it takes it takes about two weeks to get anything in. But like I said, I just go in there to see if I can find something, you know, just like, okay, let me go ahead and grab that. Since you know what I'm saying. Then you got the 20% and you got the premium thing and all that. So, you know what I mean? It doesn't hurt. So with this first one. This is actually a luck of the draw grab, and I know people find these all the time. You know, a nice little quick jewel, nothing special, but you hit it on discount. And this bad boy hit for all of about 12 bucks. Just your basic angels, no side patch, nothing like that. You got your white new era. This one couldn't pass up. Nice looking cap. Got the nice little lowercase a on it with the silver halo, I believe. Yeah, it's like a, the silver stitch halo. Don't have it in the collection. Don't have this one like with this kind of colorway as far as the lowercase with the silver halo. And like I said, doesn't always have to have a side patch. That's the beauty of this hat. It's just good. It's plain. And rock it what you want. Don't have to really do too much. Got a nice little green undervisor. And who's going to pass up 12 bucks with a nice OG size 8? Come on, man. I mean, had to have it. Hit me down below about the gems you be finding in there for the for the 20 bucks and under. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, that was pretty much showing love. And it went down to 12 after uh, I did my 20%. So I think like even before that, matter of fact, let me give y'all the correct so you can know how it was bouncing. Yeah, it was a whopping 15. And by the time they hit it with the little discount, they took it down to 12. So yeah, they caught me another nice little angels. Didn't have this one on the initial release when I got it. This is one with the, uh, some people call it like the iron on patches, but this is more like the, I don't want to say, it's just uh, more like just the fabric patch. You know what I mean? It's not embroidered. I mean, it's stitched on here by the gold circling as you see on the side patch. And one thing about these kind of patches, I know some people aren't a big fan of them, but I mean, if you want a nice looking side patch, I mean, good quality you can see everything in the description of course it's going to be these kind of patches because everything is kind of like more so digitally put on so you know it's not going to be too many discrepancies unlike when you find with the stitching where some of the threading is off of that nature and all that but i like this one and like i say you know i'm a big person i say i'm not really a big fan of two tones but when it's a good two tone as far as like good solid colors nothing too bright and just out there where the hat just kind of speaks for itself nice dope logo Good and um, good stitched on patch there, fabricated patch. 
Um, don't have the embroidered Batman's more of a sticking out Batman. Same as the Angels, wasn't embroidered. Got the white guts on it. Got the Navy New Era. Just a nice, decent hat, man. I mean, hey, and like I said, one thing you can't beat when you grab these on a discount, when it's a nice, decent hat, you know, it's a win in my book, you know what I mean? And I think this one went all the way down to like 40 bucks, so can't beat that. Nice in-store win. Two couple of caps, like I said, $12. I mean, a half decent cap for $12 is always worth it, you know what I mean? Get you a good feeling, you know what I'm saying? So this is the stuff I ordered online. I'm gonna get to those last. I definitely wanna get to some of these they sent to me first, cause I wanna pop these open and see what they didn't shot your boy for the good looking, you know what I'm saying? And now most of these, if most people see these, they already know how these come. They come with the uh, Enjoy the Liz exclusive hat drop, you know what I'm saying? Always much appreciated. And this one here, surprise, surprise, got another Angels drop. And this one is from the Stadium Patch release, I believe. Uh, this, move all that out the way. This one is from the Stadium drop. A lot of these came out, kind of your night basic hats with this, just basically your, your home teams or whatever your team is, your local team's Stadium Patch on the side. This one just says Angel Stadium. Now, me personally, I know some of these type of patches. This isn't an embroidered patch. This is another one like the uh, the other Angels one. I mean, they come with a nice little look, man, especially if, if you're not into the embroidered patch and you're into this type of patch. The good thing is they bringing this back out and putting a lot of these out to give people options because I know some people are tired of regular side patches. So if you're tired of the embroidered side patch, at least this gives you an option. You know what I mean? Options are always good, either embroidered, the kind of the, the stitch stone or no side patch at all. This, like I said, is a good look. Still gives you a good playing cap look. Got your new era flag. Not an indented Batman, so it's an embroidered Batman on the back. Nice gray under. And it has your ultimate hat collection uh, sticker on the front, your gold sticker. Now, like I said, me personally, in my opinion, I mean, if you want to go with a good classic cap look, and not have the larger side patches on there because I noticed a lot of these um, these stitch stone patches aren't really too big. Some of them are, but a lot of them are like a nice, decent size. So if you're not in the whole full side patch thing, these could be the way to go for you, but it still gives you that classic regular cap look. So definitely not mad at that. And I love how the halo, a lot of the halos I use have the gold. This has the silver stitching on there. So I'm definitely a fan of that. Like I said, nothing wrong with a different look. Well, shout out to Liz for that. Definitely appreciate y'all. All right, we're going to get into this next one. Cut this one open. Oh, I forgot to put the little thing back in there. And like I said, for our third joint here, another card. Ah, this one actually came with a pen. And this is from one of their latest drops again. Uh, the all yellow joint. Love the new smell coming off this bad boy. And again, ah, you got this one with the stitched on all-star game patch. The MLB 2010, I believe. So, like I said, they are switching it up. They give you some of the embroidered. They're giving you some of the stitched on. So, like I said, you like options. Now, the thing that's killing me about some of these that I've seen online and I wanted to see in person. At first glance, this will look black, but let me know what y'all think down below if you did purchase these, because if I'm not mistaken, this looks like a, a real dark navy blue. This does not look like black to me at first glance, especially with the light hitting it. I don't know if there's any kind of color coding on here or anything like that. It's not really saying it, but to me, this looks like, especially on this new air flag, it looks like a really dark navy blue. So if you're thinking this is yellow and black, it's not. To me, at first glance, it looks like a very dark navy blue. Got your embroidered Batterman, not indented. Got your red under on here, which surprised me. Uh, I figured they would have went with a different color, but I like the color. I figured they would have went with maybe like the dark navy, like the logo, but they gave you that pop on the bad boy, so I'm not mad at that at all. Of course, you got your white guts on here, and this, man, it feels kind of like a... Has like a silky smooth feel to it, man. Like I said, if you had this, let me know what you think. If you bought this colorway, because this, like I said, to me, it definitely looks like a dark, like I don't even want to say royal, just a navy blue in my opinion. 
but shout out to them. I'm, you know, one thing I love about them and these right here, they definitely not afraid to play with colors. Like I said, it gave you a little Liz pin right there. Definitely love that. But uh, yeah, they definitely not afraid to play with some colors like throwing that, that deep red under on the under visor. I like that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they're not afraid to try something new and that's never a bad thing. All right, we got the last one coming in from them. Uh, we have a winner. Definitely have a winner. This is one I wanted, but it was just so much other stuff coming out. This is one that just got bumped off and I didn't get it. So, man, I really, Liz, shout out to y'all. I really appreciate this. Thank y'all. Because if I could have bought it, I definitely would have. But it's the Sky Blue Paper Planes. Now, if you already seen a uh, way couple of videos back when they released it, uh, and shout out to Robert Martin. He helped me, I believe, with the red joint. I wind up getting the red joint. Uh, I got the black and the blue in store. The red, I got one of my fellow people from Fitted Hat Society, Robert Martin. Shout out to him for the red joint. So when they re-released these in all the colors, this was the newest color release that they dropped out. A lot of people, the store I'm hearing behind this one, when they put the picture up of it, the sticker on it says snapback. So a lot of people thought this was a snapback, even some people that ordered it. And when they ordered it, they said they were just going to return it. But it turned out being a fitted. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think by a couple of days later or even that same day, something that wind up changing it. But these turned out when they dropped in the store and for people like getting it out there on social media, that when they saw it in store, it was indeed a fitted cap. It wasn't a snapback. So, yeah, these flew for especially everybody who already had a lot of the colors, the green, the black, you know what I'm saying? The Americana one that came out with the American flag on the paper plane. This one here was very sought after. I know these flew off the shelves as far as the baby blue color. This is definitely, out of all the paper planes, my favorite one out of all of them because my this is my favorite color, the sky blue. So, definitely shout out to them. You have your paper planes pin right there. Of course, you got your white new era. Nothing on the back, of course. And the whole hat is just covered and the in the sky, uh, the sky blue, the light blue joint, you know, saying the under the whole hat is just what it is, is what you get. Of course, you got your paper planes tag on the top. So this one here, definitely love this one. My favorite out of the paper planes pack. <clears throat> definitely appreciate getting this one. This is gonna get some run. This is gonna get some run. And actually, a lot of people which you probably don't think about that they're happy about. They probably put a they put the black sweat bonnet here instead of the white because a lot of people are already you know be a little nervous about wearing this one because it's you know light blue the whole hat but like I said hit this with some protector you got the black band so I know a lot of people aren't worried about that but still here's some protector on your band too just because your hat is a lighter color don't want anything to sweat because sweat still goes through these black bands you feel me so let me know if you was able to luck up on this one definitely appreciate you Lee's looking out for your boy on this joint you know what i'm saying that's definitely a winner definitely the best one out of the paper planes drop for sure all right now we're gonna get into my personal pickups that i grabbed online and like i said these are some of the, the latest ones that they put out within i believe the last couple of days or within this week uh the shipping was a little slow on this one but you know it is what it is i'm not really tripping now this first one as you see the Chicago White Sox. This one I was going to get hands down no matter what. Probably no matter the colorway as long as it was a good colorway. Because I love the old school style this gives off. The way the logo looks. And you see it's, it's like a more flatter to the surface. Like a single stitch. Not a not a um, a, the thicker stitch like that comes off for like some of your newer logo. Kind of like how I got on with my Fear of God Navy. It kind of like, you know what I'm saying, more... It's embroidered, you know what I'm saying, to come off of the hat that gives you that triple, you know, quadruple stitch almost. This one gives you that old school single stitch look. And like I said, navy hat crown. You got your pink new era flag. And I love this side patch on it because it gives you the same still old school logo on it. Got the white says 1917, Comiskey Park. Definitely like how that looks. Then, of course, they give you that good pink under the bottom of it. I like the simplicity of the navy and the pink going so it doesn't give you like a bright look, but not a dark look, but just more of a dark cascade in the colors because how the pink goes into the navy. So I kind of like that. And of course, you got the white guts on there. Only way you could have went with that just because of this kind of colorway. You could have went with black, but there's not really any black speaking on the hat. So I definitely like the white more. Not an indented batter man, embroidered batter man. So it's going to give you that feel to it. And like I said, 
Definitely like this one. Like the look on it. Got the kicks that'll make this stand out crazy like. You know what I mean? Actually, I could probably put this on right now with the white t-shirt and it'll look real good. So, like I said, real easy to match this one up with. So, definitely a no-brainer in getting. And with these, they have a couple of more. Don't want to let the cat out of the bag yet, but I did grab a couple of more because they released some of their stuff and I like how they do it, I guess, to give more people a chance to get it. Uh, they release them in phases. They release like a couple here, then they release a couple more. That's why I said they're pretty much releasing like every day or every other day, which is cool. You know what I'm saying? If you're waiting for your certain team, you don't have to, you know, buy in that first drop. You know, you can do what you do and just wait on it a little bit. Now, this one here, this collection, and it is a collection they release has been the talk of all the drops and i'm not gonna lie i only got one because i wanted to see how this was gonna turn out i definitely had to see it in hand been making around on social media people have already been seeing theirs and just looking at mine here i'm gonna echo pretty much what everybody else was saying now that you see it in hand the colors work they just do got the new york yankees now the name of this collection technically isn't the name i don't know if it's a name or an abbreviation but it's going by the R O Y B P. I have no idea. Hit me in the comments below. Remember, if I don't know, I'm not gonna pretend that I do. I'm gonna ask y'all about it and see what y'all think about it. I'm assuming it's like more so the abbreviations of all the colors they use, but it's it's not a bad joint, man. And you already know I went with the more simpler of the picks to see. Because if you know me and I say in all my videos, I'm a sucker for a Yankees 99 patch. And that's what this one is. Simple 99 patch. Got the blue. Got the yellow on the joint. Got the World Series down there in the bottom. You got the eyeless all done in red. You got the shot button done in orange. Same as the New Era flag. Then with the Batman, not indented. It's more embroidered. You see they tried to use all the colors there too. You got your yellow. You got your, of course, your white and your green. And I believe that's the red stitching to round out the box. Then, of course, on the Yankees logo, you got your green and your yellow. And then they just killed it crazy by putting the purple under. Like I said, they not afraid to play with colors. The initial thing when these things dropped, people were sketchy on them. Like I said, I'm going to keep it solid with y'all. People were sketchy. I was one of them. But I was going to order one just to see how it looked in hand. Now, of course, some people got theirs before me and put them online. And they was like, you know, when you see the colors, they actually do work. And... Now, let me be honest with you. It's going to be work putting this together with an outfit just because of the colors on here. But if you do it right and, of course, have the right kicks with it, it can be done. Even with my mastery of trying to put kicks with a certain thing, hey, I, I, I got my work ahead of me. But I think I got a couple of things, maybe two or three pairs that might be able to freak with this and knock it out the park. So I'm at to see. I will update y'all on that because I'm going to be real. Just waiting on this to get here. I ordered another one of these. So like I said, stay tuned for that because I got another navy and pink coming also. So I'll let y'all know about those when they touch down and let y'all see what I grabbed. But now that I do have it in hand and I already did order another one for this touchdown, I'm not mad. You know what I'm saying? Because I could have been like, uh, now that I got it and I'll get y'all to look like, uh, you know what I'm saying? But not mad at it. I mean, they do work. So I will echo what everybody else saying when you look at it in hand. The colors do work, man. I like how they play with them. They did just enough everywhere to make it come out and look good. Like I said, finished it off with the white under here. I mean, because there's really no black nowhere on the hat. A lot of bright colors going on. So white is probably the only thing that would have suited on here to make it look good. Hey, it's, it's a win. I really can't complain. I can't wait to see, even on social media, some of the people throw their outfits together with these. Because like I said, I'm big on trying to you know, keep your outfits and, you know, throw everything together. So I can't wait to see it. Don't worry. I'm going to put mine together too. Cause like I said, all these kind of bright colors, this is definitely a summertime thing cap. So we got summer rolling in, so I can't wait to wear it. So definitely a thing, man. So finally got this video put together, you guys, cause I had to wait for certain things come in, like my own stuff and everything. But like I said, I appreciate y'all rocking with your boy with this you know nice little nice size lid how you know what i'm saying that your boy shout out for y'all hey hit me in the comments let me know how you feel about it what you picked up from what collection what you feeling about it what you feel if anybody knows the name of these joints let me know let me know what their abbreviation stands for i don't know but it is a hell of a cap can't be mad at that so we're gonna get back into the quick recap of everything man 
you already seen this from the R.O. Wider Dead collection. I have no idea. Let me know. We got the navy and pink socks joint. To me, best of the bunch. You got the paper planes. You got your sky blue. This one, man, this, this is a nice one to me. I love how this came out. Nice little classic look. Uh, got your yellow angels joint again let me know what you think man is that black to y'all to me it looks like a real dark navy that's what it looks like to me anyway honestly i'm gonna get it under some good light and i'm gonna see but that's what it's looking like to me then uh the last one well not the last one but we got from the stadium collection we got your uh anaheim los angeles angels whatever that's going by now uh then we got the two in-store pickups. We got the $12 holla. Then we got your Angels two-tone right here. Hey, it looks like a win to me, man. I'm glad they back on and doing their thing. Let me know what y'all think about it. I'm going to get up out of here. I appreciate y'all rocking with your boy. You know what I'm saying? You already know. Like, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Even if you don't, I appreciate y'all watching. And I'm going to see y'all on the next one because you already know it's the next one, man. So I'm going to get up out of here. And I'm going to see y'all in the comments, man. It's your boy. And I'm gone.